this is uh, myself myself is shombhu from from west bengal geogebra is also support linux sir yes 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 i am working in linux only my my laptop is ubuntu okay ubuntu yeah. laptop so it will work in linux uh, mac all the versions it will support okay 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 thank you sir Linux actually you can go with the terminal also uh, downloading, but it will take uh, because all the parts may not be required that one. That is why we did not go to that instruction. From terminal you can download or uh, install this GeoGebra. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, sir. But uh, that you can search just simply Google it. You will get the idea of how to download uh, install through terminal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. So what we will do now is we will, once you have a GeoGebra icon, as I have shown on the side screen, what you can do is you can open that one. Then once you open, you will see a screen like this. I think my GeoGebra screen is visible to you. Yes, sir. Clearly. Yeah. So uh, once you look into the GeoGebra screen, I hope the whole thing is visible to you. So it will have, as the name suggests, it is a combination of geometry and algebra. The combination of geometry and algebra. And this uh, software was actually developed. This uh, GeoGebra was developed as a post graduation uh, dissertation work of Marcus Hockenwater. But now it is a, one of the leading uh, free and open source software. Uh, as I was trying to tell earlier, Free means you can download it yourself, and uh, open source means it is it is actually copy left. There is no copyright issue for the GeoGebra files. You can download, you can modify, you can use it according to your wish. You, all the things you can do. So that is the philosophy of this whole open source software. Uh, now we will come to the real work. How to work with GeoGebra? As you see, there are different interfaces. There is an algebra window. There is a graphics window is there. Also down you can see input bar. There you can see input bar. And top you can see file. This is almost like a word file. If you open there will be file, edit, view, options, all these things will be. The file will help you in saving some files, saving or opening all these things. It will help you in doing, opening a new window opening a already existing file, all these things. Edit view, all these things are there. I will just check, show the options. There, usually when you type some numbers, uh, it is showing to, I have made it two decimal places. Suppose you want to make it four decimal places. You can click on here and it will become four decimal places. If you want going for the value of pi, you want to go for four decimal places, you can round it to four decimal places. Similarly, one thing I will do in the beginning is, I will go to the labeling and I will make all new objects. So advantage is, whenever I am beginning a work in GeoGebra, what it will do is, whenever I am doing a new object, it will label it. Okay, and I made the whole font size 20 for visibility. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't okay. Now <laughs> below this act are called toolboxes. It is almost like uh, if you have some electrical worker or somebody <clears throat> coming to your home, they will arrange their tools in a systematic way. So, or if you go to a medical shop, you, the person in the medical shop, the pharmacist <laughs> is going to arrange all the med medicines in a system. And if you just tell the name of the medicine, they will be able to fetch it and give to you. But if you enter inside, you will, it will be difficult for you to find the medicine. So like that. Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. Sorry to interrupt, uh, but please uh, mute all other participants. Yeah, please. making noise. Yeah, thank you. So this toolboxes is arranged in a systematic way. That is our, that we are going to use for our work. So you look into the toolboxes very carefully. First one is actually the move box. 
I hope you can see that one. When I'm clicking that one, it will be highlighted. You can see it is highlighted. And there is a small triangle is there below the highlighted box just here. If I click here, a drop down menu will come. I hope the word is clear to you. It is a drop down menu where what are the tools arranged in that one? You can see that one. It is a move toolbox. Second is a point toolbox. So different types of points are arranged there. Point, point on object. If you want to attach a point, if you want to find the point of intersection, all these points are type, different types of points are arranged here. The second toolbox. Third one is a line toolbox. So different types of lines are arranged there. Line, segment, segment with given length, that those type of thing. Then next one is perpendicular line, parallel line, tangent. The, the fourth one is, this one is also a particular type of lines, but special lines, these are. Next one is polygon toolbox, where you can draw polygon, regular polygon, all these things. Next is a circle toolbox. Circle with center through the point, circle with center and radius, circle through three points, all these things you can choose from here. Like that, we will explore one by one the toolboxes according to our time. Okay. Now one suggestion, one uh, instruction I will give you is, suppose, okay, we will begin with a point tool. So I will choose a point tool. When I am choosing, always it is left click. Left click on your mouse. I choose a point and click anywhere on the screen. So two things happen. You can see there is a point. Its name is A. And you can see its coordinates. If I click somewhere else, I got a point B. Its coordinate is 7 minus 1. I can click on anywhere on the screen also. So it gives you 6.4 and 2.48. It's coordinate. I can take another point. Now one uh, thing I, which I want to tell you is, now this uh, point box is highlighted. So whenever I click on the screen, it will start drawing point. To avoid that one, what I should do is, I should, in your keyboard, click escape button. So once you click escape button, uh, you can see the move tool is highlighted. So that means point, it will not going to plot points now. Now, second is, if you want to draw a line, you can see line, just keep the mouse there. You can see the instruction. What it says is you select two points or positions. So I will click on A. Then a line is start moving. It is fixed at A. And if I click on C, I will get a line. You can see the algebra of that one. C algebra. It is a line. So equation is 0 0.52x plus 3.4y, 11.76. This is how you will draw a line. I hope drawing line is clear to you. Uh, those who have down already downloaded GeoGebra, you can experiment with that one. Next is, I'm not, I'm not going to go all the tool, tools in one box at a time. Instead of what I'm going to do is I'm discussing about perpendicular line. I want to draw a perpendicular line. I want to draw a perpendicular line to this F, that is line passing through AC, and perpendicular passing through B. Uh, actually, uh, what I want to do is, I want to draw a line passing through B. It is perpendicular to the line F. So what I will do is, I will choose the tool, perpendicular line tool, click on B, that is always left click, then click on the line F. So I got 
a line those who are familiar with basic uh, mathematics or all our mathematics teachers so it will be very easy for you just look at the algebra you can see the difference in the co x coordinate and y coordinate 0.52x yes it shows the slopes of the lines yes sir so these are perpendicular equations of perpendicular otherwise also what you can do is you can go to the box angle box where your symbol of angle is there you can take the angle then it will ask select three points or two lines so i will select this point line and this line so since it is showing 270 actually basic mathematics will be help you in saying that it is the angle they are perpendicular otherwise what you can do is select this line first you select f then you select g then you got that angle is 90 degree so these are perpendicular lines i think drawing perpendicular lines and measuring the angle is clear to you another one i will draw a parallel line parallel line this time what i want is uh, parallel to your ac line az but it should pass through d so what i will do is i will take uh, click on the line ac you see once i move my mouse a line is moving but always that line is parallel to the line f or line passing through ac and if i click on d that line is fixed again you can go to the algebra window and you can see that 0.52x plus 3.4y is equal to minus 4.4 is its equation so comparing with the f and h you can see x coordinate coefficient of x and coefficient of y is same that means these lines are actually parallel algebraically also you can show that one okay this is the basic uh, first thing we do, did with the uh, preliminary basic tools we have done now one more i will do is i will draw a circle which pass through b and centered at c so i want a circle uh, which is centered at c passing through d so we have different type of circles are there among them i will choose circle with center and passing through the point so excuse me sir may i request you to be bilingual so that our participant become uh, comfortable that much fluent in hindi yeah you can try yeah i will uh, i will try but uh, that hindi uh, i am not sure okay i will try okay okay okay, okay uh, because actually especially when it come to technical terms i am i, I may, may not be able to do exactly that. no that's we all know i think we all mathematics person we understand all these um, terminology for yeah, mathematics yeah. Okay. whenever it is possible then yeah, yeah, i will try i will try yeah thank you sir so what the instruction says is uh, you have to select the center and point on the circle then ek bar aap c par click karke if you move your mouse you can see our circle is uh, changing the radius of circle is changing then since i told i want uh, a circle center at c and passing through b now mujhe b par click karna hai now i got circle so ek bar aap dekh dekh lijiye ye circle ka equation yahan hai is circle ka x minus 6.4 square plus y minus 2.48 square is equal to 12.47 इसका मतलब है कि इसका सेंटर 6.4 2.48 है 
6.4, 2.48. So this is the basic uh, construction we have made so far. So this much you can try. I will wait for uh, nearly five minutes. You can construct this one. Then we will go to the uh, so, uh, 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 mathematical problems. Ke liye ja raha hai. Iske pehle hame to ye, uh, tool, kuch tool, you have to familiarize with some tools. Uh, so just try yourself any any one or two tools then ek uske baad ek 5 minute ke baad we will go to the next work um all the participants um, are you all downloading and working i want to know Yes. Yes. Yes, Downloaded and working. Okay. okay. Download not completed till now, madam. Yes, ma'am. Downloading and working. Hmm. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, suppose we draw two lines which intersect each other. Yeah. And we want to label each uh, uh, four angles. I mean, every angle. Like that uh, there is alpha equal to 90 degree. So another angle, uh, again 90, other angle again 90. Like that. Okay, okay, okay. So that uh, for that purpose, what we will do is uh, we will mark... Uh, first, I will do one thing. Uh, I will take the point of intersection first. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, I will take point of intersection. For the, there is a in the point tool. Uh, ke under a point of intersection ka uh, instruction uh, tool hai. Wo choose karke. There are two methods to choose that one. Either you click on the two. Sir, lines. Uh, oh, I am a little bit familiar about that, uh, so we can yeah. direct go on that. No, no, actually, I thought that others can also. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. That. Okay, okay, that is why. Okay. I marked uh, that point of intersection. Then what I will do is I will choose uh, another point on this line, another point on. So I have marked points. Now, using that points, I will mark the angle. What I will do is okay. F E B. I got ninety degree. Then B E B. That is also ninety degree. I think you can see that screen. Then next one is D E. G, which is also 90 degree. Once again, G, E, F. Okay. 
ओके थैंक यू सर सो एक्सक्यूज मी सर या is it is it mandatory to uh, draw the points before measuring the angles actually in this one it should, uh, no, no earlier i have not done you see i have right, just sir. marked two lines yeah. At that time hmm. it will it will mark on one side only uh, what sir asked this sir want everywhere sir want points for measuring each and every angle is it uh, required to draw the points ah yes yes, yes you have to mark the points mark the points otherwise okay. otherwise yes, I, i will just show you uh, so that the angles can be differentiate from each other ah that is that is what i want to differentiate the angles actually uh, these angles also you can do some more work which i thought we will we can go to the object property how i will go mm-hmm. to object properties on i will keep the mouse on beta and right mm-hmm. click on that one now this is right click then i will mm-hmm. get a pop up mm-hmm. click on object property it will take a little time to come and uh, you can change the color of the angle now see this angle in the in that way you can distinguish exactly if you want to show a student that all these angles mm-hmm. are 90 degree actually basic mathematics with the student who does not know basic mathematics that means you are uh, introducing this in the very early class so you may be able to measure all the angles and get some results then what we will do if the student knows that this opposite angles are equal uh, angle plus linear pairs everything then we need not go for a, at least one angle is sufficient but for a student right who right so all this you may be required Hello, oh, so sir. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is about uh, measuring the angles, but uh, uh, what about drawing the angles? No, no, I will come. I will come to that. Oh, okay, sir. You'll okay. Come to that. Uh, sir, okay. please uh, keep sharing because we we have limited time. So you just ah, share okay. all okay. the. Okay. Yeah. So uh, after this one, what we will do is uh, usually what we will do we will. uh if you want to save the file you can save or save as you can give wherever you want to save like a word file you are saving you can save that one uh which i am not going to spend time which uh, but i can open a new file i am not saving this one i am taking a new one uh, i got a new file now uh, where my first task which i am going to do is a draw a triangle okay draw a triangle with uh, sides 10 8 and 6 okay sides are 10 8 and 6 actually what is our plan is exactly how you do in a classroom that is what we are going to do so mm. i will take the segment with given length in the line toolbox there is a segment with given length is there i will click mm. it will ask length i am giving 10 so i got a line segment of length b and uh, yeah. since it is now uh, it is there what i will do is i will take a circle with center and radius so center is b radius is i will give 8 unit so i will get a circle here similarly i will go click on a and what i do is i will take this time i want radius to be 6 so i got two circles it actually in the school what we will do is you will draw arc here drawing arc is tedious than drawing a circle so that is what we, we can easily draw a circle now what i will do is i will take a point of intersection there are two methods i told you either i can click on excuse me sir yeah so where are you specifying the radius ah actually that is what i will i will once again i will repeat the construction uh i i have taken the circle tool in the circle tool the second one is circle with center and radius okay i choose that tool choose means click on that one then i click on b then one pop up window you can see there you can see a, a window of the the kare hai ek 
it is asking for what is radius can you see that one no so no, i can't see okay 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 wait wait uh, i will do one thing and it yeah now you can see the complete screen isn't it i will try it again i click on b ek aapko ek small window can you see now yes yes sir yeah there i will click on click the number which i want okay now i got circle similarly okay. what i will do is i will click on a it will ask for the radius i will give radius 6 uh, जो आपको दो दो सर्कल दिखा रहा है वो एक बार एक क्या होता है कि आपको इंटरसेक्शन लेना है तो इंटरसेक्शन टूल चूज के चूज करके हम आइदर यू कैन क्लिक ऑन सर्कल सी एंड सर्कल डी देन यू विल गेट द इंटरसेक्शन अदरवाइजली यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द इंटरसेक्शन सो एक बार आपको आई एम डूइंग द बोथ थिंग्स यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस jab i click on the intersection i can see the one point c intersection jab maine ye circle c pe click karke uske baad circle d pe click kar kar diya to i can get both the intersection at the same at the time but i want only one intersection so what i will do is i will choose uh, only one point then uh, actually what is my necessity is we want three points we know that ac is six unit and bc is uh, eight unit all unnecessary construction i want to hide from the students i don't want to see this kind of big figure i just want a triangle so iske liye kya karna hai ki hame jo construction maine kiya circle straight line wo sab chupa ke rakhna hai I cannot delete. If I delete, सब कुछ जा रहा है तो क्या करता है कि हम जाके अलजरा विंडो में जाके ये ब्लू बटन पे क्लिक करना यू सी ए बी सी ओनली ए बी सी इज अवेलेबल देन एज यू यूजली वॉट वी विल डू इज वील ज्वाइन दम विथ सेगमेंट ज्वाइन ए बी bc then you can see the triangle but you look into the algebra window there is a very interesting thing is there uh, or you can you can see this algebra window here you got g is at 10 unit h 8 unit i 6 unit okay i am going to hide g h and i now now what i am going to do is i am going to the polygon tool polygon tool when i keep my mouse on polygon tool you can see the instruction there select all vertices then first vertex again that is i have to select all the vertices then click on a again now you got again you are getting the same uh, triangle but you can see the difference in the color as well as you go to the algebra window b is 6 a is 8 c1 is 10 and t1 is 24 t1 is 24 means uh, this polygon now only computer is uh, geogebra is taking it as a polygon earlier it was a collection of line segment when i took ghi it was a collection of line segments now it is a polygon okay and what is the advantage is uh, you can go to the angle only click angle toolbox you can choose the area click anywhere in the screen so it will give you its area is 24 even you can go for distance or length and inside you can click its perimeter you will get uh, for our case area and perimeter are equal and another interesting thing is you cannot move this c you can move b but 
not like whatever you want you can just rotate it in case of a a can move to anywhere you can keep here you can keep here but anyway wherever you keep you will get the same triangle so this is the basic construction of a triangle now next construction what i am going to do is uh, i will draw a square okay i will take a new window and one more thing i want to explain here is when i want to draw a uh, i i don't want axis means what i can do is i can click here in the screen you can see that there is something is written graphics you can click here you see there is a small triangle type of thing is there when i click here one small line is appearing where axis some symbols are there if i click on axis axis will vanish if i click on the grid grid will vanish then you can work it will look like a plain paper now what i am going to do is i am going to draw a square square of side for unit so what my plan is i will mark a point then i will take a segment with given length say four unit i got this one then what is my plan is i will draw perpendicular actually this is for just to familiarize with all the tools which we have learned so far i will take a perpendicular line how to draw perpendicular lines passing through b and perpendicular to f is ek bar b pe click karke then you have to click on the segment so you got a perpendicular line similarly uh, then what i will do is i will draw a circle with center and radius usko select karke b pe click karna then you will get uh, radius for unit so you got a circle then iska point of intersection lena hai you click here you got point of intersection then again you go to the toolbox draw a parallel line passing through c and pa uh, parallel to ab so click on c click on ab so i got a parallel line again i will go to the circle with center and radius click on c radius i will give for unit so it is intersecting here i will choose the point of intersection now i got all the necessary a b c d for points so what i will do is i will keep those points only other things i will hide then go to the polygon tool a b c d and so i got a square now what i am going to do next is uh same thing i will go to the midpoint tool in the point tool there is a midpoint tool is there i will choose the midpoint tool i will click on a and b i got a midpoint e iske baad b aur c ka midpoint lena hai click b pe click karke baad mein c pe click karna similarly midpoint of d c d then midpoint of d a i got midpoints fir ek bar fir ise join karna hai then i got another polygon so my interestingly what i got is the first polygon shows its area q1 is equal to 16 second polygon the smaller one shows 
so as you move uh, you can uh, ask our children that is it uh, will it be always true that the area will be half पहले सिक्सटीन uh, था उसका मिड पॉइंट ज्वाइन करके दूसरा स्क्वायर ले लिया तो इट बिकम हाफ ऑफ द एरिया एक्चुअल एरिया सो इज इट गोइंग टू रेड्यूस लाइक दैट यू कैन आस्क सच ए क्वेश्चन टू द स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट एंड विल इट बी ए प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्क्वायर अलॉन एनी अदर रेक्टेंगल इफ यू ड्रॉ विथ रेक्टेंगल विल इट बी वर्किंग वेदर इट इज इफ एनी क्वार्टर लेटरल विल इट वर्क यू कैन आस्क सच ए क्वेश्चन so for quadrilateral we can try here itself what i am going to do is i am simply take a polygon i got polygon then what i will do is again same exercise i am going to do i will take midpoints i have taken midpoints then again i will join the midpoints to get another polygon okay so before that one i what i will do is i will go back uh, here i will see the name of k l i j k l i j k l it is q3 is 34.84 and q4 is this polygon mnop mnop is 17.42 so what i will do here is uh, one more tool i will show here what i am going to do do is uh, i will take the text box one second so i can choose area i j k l but i want its value should be shown not uh, this uh, name i want area i j k l should be shown on the screen so what i will do is i will go to the objects on the window and i will go down its name was q3 i will click on q3 so you can see its value similarly again i will click on the screen this time area m n o p equal to it's uh, again i want to show the value i will click on q4 17.42 now what is the advantage here is you see i can change the i can just drag and pull this uh, vertices of this uh, quadrilateral <laughs> so you can show that what happens to area of ijkl and area of mnop and you can ask the children uh, make a comparison whether it is true and now later this is not a proof you can just you are just verifying that one uh, can you prove it mathematically then you can go back to your classroom and prove it mathematically but this idea not actually what will happen in our usual classroom हम तो एक पिक्चर ड्रॉ के उसके उससे जनरलाइज कर रहा है नाउ वी हैव अ डायनामिक नेचर यू कैन हैव मेनी लाइंस मेनी क्वाड्रिलैटरल्स यू कैन ड्रॉ एट द सेम टाइम एंड यू कैन डू द वर्क आई विल कंक्लूड विद एक्चुअली दे टोल्ड देयर इज 10 मिनट्स टू वाइंड अप दैट इज व्हाट शोइंग सो व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई विल शो वन मोर वर्क and later you can explore yourself and i will show how to explore uh, geogebra and help how to...
sir are yeah. there uh, uh, demos available for geo geo zebra yes 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 it is uh, it will be available in youtube uh, it is there also uh, guide us to from where we can explore ah, okay okay i, I will i will tell that we have limited time Actually, on it's a very it's very useful for our classroom these days in pandemic time uh, actually the actually the problem is uh, means geogebra workshops usually we uh, used to have uh, ri we used to have uh, geogebra workshop alone for 5 days hmm right so because the first two days uh, we can it, it will be hands on workshop and within first two three days all the participants will be familiar with all the tools correct so, hmm. then we will go to really constructing the mathematical tools We, according to their classroom level so they themselves will prepare and up to the higher levels of geogebra we used to make right. anyway uh, there is a slider tool is there that is one of the strongest tool of geogebra uh, if i could not find that one today it will be the class will be almost like any robo compass class of np robo compass is another software which can be used but it it is more inbuilt things are there but it can be also used in the lower classes even not lower i up to 8th class 9th class you can show the student students the constructions you can show using robo compass but anyway this one this tool is very strong this is how this geogebra works very beautifully the slider tool just click slider tool select that slider tool click on the screen there are three types of sliders are there number slider angle slider and integer slider it is work like a variable and its value will be from minus 5 to 5 with uh, an increment of 0.01 uh, or whatever you take uh, you can take it 0.01 or 0.001 what i am taking is 0.01 so i got a slider then next to what i will do is i will in the input box i will go and i will type uh, i will start a bracket automatically the bracket will be closed there i will put a a square you can see one mark here but actually it is not drawn so i will click enter button so i will get a point here now what is advantage for this one is as you move the slider you can see the point is moving so what i will do is i will right click on the point and i will say trace on and if i want to do some coloring what i will do is i will go to the object property i will take some color here then right click on the slider and give animation you can see the curve coming now instead of that one if you take uh, a and sin of a all uh, you can see another point b here right click on this uh, again trace on again if you want different color you go to the different color just animate you can see what is happening for this the second one is sine curve okay similarly different curves you can draw but one problem is for this construction is this this will clearly show the children that how the curve is plotted but i will just click on the last moving move graphics view and just hold the paper and drag everything will vanish because it is almost like drawing it is showing like a reflection or showing something on water image like water so if i exactly want sin curve what i should do is i should go in the input box and type sin then you can see one pop up is coming i will choose sin x and enter so i got the complete sin curve okay and uh, you can take point on object click anywhere here you got a point c advantage is this point will only move on actually sorry
Now this point will move only on this uh, curve and uh, you can go to the line toolbox and choose the tangent tool. Click on C and click on the curve. You will get the tangent. You will get tangent. And as you move this point C, you can see this tangent is moving. Actually, one more thing you can do here, which I have not, uh, uh, I, I thought I will not get time. But anyway, we will try to do that one. Click on the slope. Just click on this line. You can see it's slope. And what I am going to do is this point. I'll mark x of c, comma m. So x of c will give you x coordinate of c and uh, m. I got a point here. I will give trace on to that point. Now I will move this. I thought, I, you see, I got another curve here. The black one is giving you one another curve, which is actually the slopes are plotted. Along with the point C, it's slope is plotted. That means you have actually find the derivative. It almost looks like sine curve. Actually, you can uh, later you can prove that it is the cosine. So this is what about the uh, some tools. Quickly, I was introducing through GeoGebra. Now, what I will do is, as we are telling, we will try to introduce the one is uh, GeoGebra help. Here itself, resources are there. Resources uh, you can. You see the different GeoGebra uh, templates are there. If you are, are in middle and high school maths, you can click on here. If you want to teach about functions or algebra or trigonometry, click here. You will get uh, different applets. Uh, app, all, it, they will tell applets. So already inbuilt applets will be there, which you can download and use in the class. You see, it is already inbuilt. Interact with this app for a few minutes. Large points are movable. So I think rooms are getting closed. Uh, sir, for which classes onward this app is suitable? Uh, even from lower classes, you can start. Hmm. And up to university level, we can use that one. Differential geometry and others will be taught through uh, this one. Sir, can we save these uh, images at JPG? Uh, here, it can, you can, if you have uh, this one, you can download these things. You can download uh, and use these uh, Is it possible to save standalone images for uh, use in a uh, question paper? Uh, yes, yes. Actually, there is a GeoGebra exam is also there. There is okay. a uh, thing called GeoGebra exams where you can uh, even question paper you can prepare and you can even you can take the image print of the yeah. images you can take also yeah, actually I, I was not getting here there is export option is there you can the, export it as a different view as picture png file edit <laughs> So, आपके पास template आपका uh, selected template आपके पास ही रहेगा आप सिर्फ उसमें question set change कर रहे हैं अच्छा पांच जो भी template तो? लेंगे तो उसको edit करके बार बार use कर सकते हैं जी जी उसको delete नहीं करना नमस्ते I'm Jyoti बोल रही हूँ पूछ रहे थे ना okay madam जी thank you और उसको delete नहीं करना उसका create a copy नहीं करना create a copy करोगे तो आपके दो activities use हो जाएंगे उसमें अच्छा तो create a copy नहीं करना उसका duplicate नहीं करना उसमें डुप्लीकेट का एक ऑप्शन है तो उसमें क्लिक नहीं करना और अलग सा मेल यूज करके भी और भी कंटेंट यूज कर पाएंगे ना हां मतलब अगर आप <laughs> अगर पे नहीं करना तो फिर आप मल्टीपल जीमेल अकाउंट्स बना के आप उसको कितना भी यूज मैम इफ आई पे एंड टुक सो मेनी टेम्पलेट्स देन आई कैंसिल द पेड वर्जन 
then will all the other temples will remain 